In this video, I've been asked to look at why whenever we're finding the position of the median, in some situations do we add one, in others we choose not to add one. So let's have a look at a list of numbers to begin with, and we're going to find the median. So if we cross them off and we want to find the median, we know the median is equal to here to 8. But let's look at it another way. If this list was really big, I might not want to cross off the, all the numbers. It might be useful to know how to find the position of the median quickly. So here we've got five numbers. So n is equal to 5. And the median is the third term. Now let's just have a look at another set. So if I had uh, 1, 1, 2, 4, 7, and 8, here we've got six numbers. Well, the median would be in here. So it's going to be the third. Or it's going to be equal to 3. Now, altogether, there was six numbers there. So n is equal to 6 in this case. And the median here, well, the 3, well, that's equal to the 1, 2, 3. It's in between the third and the fourth terms. So that's the 3.5th value. So to go from the number of numbers to the median, we use the formula n plus 1 divided by 2. So let's test it. 5 plus 1 is 6. Half it is the third number. If there's six numbers, add 1 is 7. Half it is the 3.5th number. So to find the median really quickly from a list of numbers, we use the formula n plus 1 divided by 2. Um, as for GCSE, at A level you might see it in a different format. Um, I teach edX LA level, and the formula they give is this, n divided by 2, so you just half it, but they round up, so if you get a whole number, you go up 0.5. So, for instance, if there was 6, you half it, which is equal to 3, so then you look for the 3.5th value. Um, as we've just seen, whenever you've got 6 numbers, it is the 3.5th value. Or if you get a decimal number, you round up to the next whole number. But both of these situations involve some sort of either adding one and then halving it, or halving it and then going up 0.5, or rounding up to the next number. Okay, so this is the way you would find the position of the median in, in many situations. Okay, or if actually in all situations, find the exact value. So here we've got typical situations where you would add one. So if I wanted to find the, the median for a list of numbers, I would do the number of numbers, add one and half it. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I do eight plus one, which is equal to nine, divided by two, which is equal to the 4.5 value. So in list of, for a list of numbers, you definitely add one because that's how you find the exact position of the median. Same thing for a stem and leaf, because again, a stem and leaf diagram is just a list of numbers, seven, nine, 14 and so on. And again, if I had the stem and leaf, I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 numbers. So I do 10 plus 1 divided by 2. So it's going to be 11 divided by 2. So it's the 5.5 value. So I'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.5. So it's in there. So it's going to be 17. So that's how you'd find the position for of the median for a stem and leaf. So you still take the number of numbers, add 1 divided by 2. Another situation when you would add 1 as well is if you get a frequency table and you've got all the, for instance, it was ages and it was 18, 19, 20, 21. Now these can be written in a list. I could write 5, 18. So I could write 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. I could write 5, 19s, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19. We should choose smaller numbers here. 9, 20s. Let's do it. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Oh, 20, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 20, and 20, and four 21s, 21, 21, 21, 21. As you can see, I have written out the numbers in this table in a list. And because I can write it as a list of numbers like this, then to find the median, I would say how many there were. Let's do this a quick way. 5, 10, 19, 23. So there's 23 numbers. So I do 23, add 1, divided by 2. So it's 24 and half it is equal to 12. So it's the 12th number. So it would just be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it would be equal to 20. So whenever you've got a list of numbers, a stem and leaf, you've got your frequency tables for ungrouped uh, data. So whenever it's just like 18, 19, 20 discrete data like that, you would then just, uh, you, can't, you would have to add one whenever you find the position of the median. Now, look at situations where we do not add one. Now, let's actually have a look at the first situation first and let's talk about it a little bit. So the first situation where you typically don't add one is whenever you've got a grouped frequency table like this. The reason is, actually I'm just going to get rid of this bottom row for a second. <laughs> uh, okay, so a grouped frequency table like this. Now the reason is, it's the first group says it's the length of something is in between 10 and 20. And this is eight numbers. 
But we don't know what those eight numbers could be. They could be 10, they could or they could be 11, 12, 12.5, 12.5, and so on. It could be, they could all actually be like 19, 19.1, 19.2, 19.3. Because it's group data, we don't actually know the exact values of the numbers. Again, whenever I've got my 16 values between 20 and 30, I don't know what the exact numbers would be. So they could be 21, 22, they could be any numbers in there whatsoever. Now, if I wanted to find the median for this group to, uh, uh, group frequency table here what I would do is I'd add together the numbers so I would get uh, let's add them together so I would get 8 plus 16 plus 25 plus 32 and that's equal to 81 numbers now we could add 1 and divide by 2 and actually a lot of mark schemes and stuff in exams actually um, allow you to do that but what I would tend to do is I tend to use the preferred option and because it's an estimate of the median, you can't find the exact median here anywhere. The reason you can't find the exact median is we don't know the exact numbers. We tend to just half it, okay? And you do 81 divided by two, which is the 40.5th 40, uh, 40 number. So in frequent frequency tables like this, because you don't know the exact number, it's gonna be an estimate anywhere. And if you ever you go for the 40.5th or the 41st number, it's gonna have very little effect. And it's an estimate anyway okay but whatever and also because it's quite a large number that point uh, that point five whatever it's the 40.5 of the 41st won't have much difference okay so for grouped frequency because you don't know the values of the numbers and it's an estimate anyway you tend to just divide by two leading on then that means also for cumulative frequency curves you tend not to have you know, tend not to um, add one either the reason is again if I look at this frequent uh, cumulative frequency curve here um, you know whenever you've been asked to draw a cumulative frequency curve you'll always have a table to begin with and that table whenever you look at it will always be grouped frequency like this it would be for your continuous data that's grouped okay so in this situation because it's grouped continuous data uh, and you don't know the numbers exactly anywhere and also interestingly if you were to draw your curve and get lots of your friends to draw their curves their cumulative frequency curves as well you'll find that they lay in much in very different positions the way you draw it by freehand um that actually the process of adding one has very little impact on your answer and again because it's an estimate anywhere um, what you would do in this case because in this graph here this table is not for this graph but for this graph because there's 60 numbers all together if I wanted to find the median I would just half 60 which is 30 and I would go straight from a 30 and across and down like so okay so whenever you're using cumulative frequency you tend not to add one either okay the reason is again it's an estimate and from your diagram especially the the position of the curves are going to vary slightly anyway so whether you go for 30 or 30.5 in this situation it would have very little bearing on it okay so that's another situation where you typically don't add one whenever you find in the position of the median and then the final one that i want to talk about is also histograms whenever you're looking at finding the median or estimating the median and that's a keyword to look out for whenever you're estimating the median from a histogram. Again, a histogram is drawn for grouped continuous data like so. And because the data is grouped and you don't know the exact numbers, whether you add one or don't add one, it's not going to have much of an impact. So for instance, for this histogram, if I had these values here, um, again, this histogram is not for this, but if I had these values here and I was to add them up, so there's going to be 12 plus 30 plus 28 plus 22 plus 8. So if I had the histogram for this information, there'd be 100 numbers. So again, I would just go for the 50th value. I would just divide by 2. So to summarize, the situations where you add one are typically whenever your values in a list, like so, or whenever your values in a stem leaf diagram, or if it's in a table and they're just um, unique, uh, distinct values, or you know your discrete values like this, so 18, 19, 20, 21, um, then you can, you would typically add one. Situations where you typically don't add one are whenever the data is grouped data like so, so whenever it's a grouped frequency table, like so, whenever it is a, uh, cumulative frequency curve and you've got your group data and you've drawn your cumulative frequency curve you typically don't add one to find the position of the median and finally whenever you've got a histogram again because it's uh, grouped continuous data and you know wherever you you don't know the exact numbers and it's an estimate anyway you tend not to to add one as i said some mark schemes will tell you know will let you do it um it's just that whenever you do look at the mark schemes for the a levels and the gcse the first approaches for you know, for these questions, the f for these questions here, the first approach will be the the, the the standard answer will be to not well for these ones sorry will be to not add one.